uh, injuries. Uh, I, had to, I had a long way to, to come back. And also this year, I'm not in shape in, in the ski jumping part. I had some problems also in the cross country. But today, we did a really good job. I felt very good in the cross country part. And my body here did an awesome job today. So, uh, he did a big part of this podium today. Yes, Samuel. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about how did the race feel from your point of view. It was really tight, it was a lot of people, a lot of action. So how did it feel to ski in it? Yeah, it feels great because it's the first time that I can ski in front and not with the last athlete. But um, with a, a, a lot of people, I, I get more adrenaline, and so that pushes me up a little bit. And I have also great skis, so in the downs I can pass the other guys, and so in the up I can rest a little bit. But yeah, it feels good. I bet. Um, Paula, you seem to be um, back on top when it comes to the jumping. You won the PCR yesterday, and today was also not too bad. It's a quite small hill, but uh, you like to fly usually. How does it feel to, to jump in such a small hill? Yeah, I prefer a bigger hill, but uh, Ramsau is a good place to have these tight races, and for sure they're, they're good uh, to, to deliver every year, and I've done it many years, but uh, I would like to have a bit more big hills, I must, I must admit that, but uh, I hope it was an exciting race today, and, for sure, um, we are really, really happy with first and second. We was talking about it yesterday that it would be a, a dream, and uh, now we're sitting here. So it's we are uh, still um, going in the right direction, and the whole team is, is working really well together. So I'm just um, I'm proud, and and uh, it's, it's a fantastic feeling to be a part of this team right now. Um, speaking of the strong Norwegian team, uh, Magnus, how? Many details of the race have you coordinated between teams before? Or is that something that you just take it as it comes? Have you had a, a joint strategy for both teams or did you take it as an individual before? Okay. Yeah? Um, no, I think we didn't plan that much, but of course we knew that Jürgen and Miko was coming up to the front of the group pretty fast. And I think that was all. With that we have planned, and then we just had to see how it went and take it step by step and fight hard. Like, or they made a, a good position out of my last stage, so I was in the fight. And, yeah. uh, Nico, you're the fastest guy on the track right now. You've posted the fastest cross country times on both of the last weekends, and today I think you were like 33 seconds back when you guys started, something like that. That's not a lot for you. Were you sure you are, you have that in the bag? You're going to win this today? No, but I was quite sure that we were going to catch the front, and it would or it was going to be a a group. Um, yeah, and uh, but uh, for sure I didn't know how it was going to be. It was a lot of teams, and uh, it's always a bit. Nerve-wracking to see how it ends up. For myself, I had a decent feeling today, not perfect, but was skiing quite okay, I think. And uh, Jürgen then got a gap, which was very good for the outcome of uh, this uh, sprint. And um, it was a fun day, and for sure it's uh, amazing to be a part of this team right now. We have so much fun, and it's just a uh, joy to be competing and also in the ski jumping part we just have fun and listen to music and warm up and joke around and jump and yeah it's good and uh, i'm happy to be a part of uh, the win with the today i think we both did a good job yeah seems certainly to be working whatever you guys are doing um jorgen before you got that gap on the on the on your last leg of the cross country race. And we've seen quite a lot of action today. We had, I think, three or four people crashing, poles breaking, stuff like that. 
How much of that do you actually notice during the race? Like what happens to the other guys? I didn't notice much really. Only Timo stepped on my ski and, and crashed in uh, I think the second lap. That was pretty much it. Um, also, uh, it was a race with a high speed and I uh, figured out that it was going to be hard to get a gap. So um, I just got an opportunity and uh, second last lap and just decided to take it and 